What's up guys, today we're going to be doing this day to night effect. I will leave all the video clips down below if you want to download them and try this effect out for yourself. The basic day to night effect is actually really simple. What you want to do is go over here to the effects tab and go to all video and audio and just search for day into night and there you go it should come up right there just drag that onto your video clip what you can do is add a keyframe on the amount put it to zero move forward a couple of seconds and bring the amount back up to 100 and what this is going to do is just kind of make the video clip gradually go from day to night time uh, what i like to do is untick the match iMovie because it makes it a bit darker i'll boost the protect skin a little bit to about 50 and then you can also brighten it up as well depending on how dark you want the uh, shot and yeah that's the day to night effect done but this shot actually worked really well for sky replacement and a few effects that i was trying out so what i'll do now is do that whole sky replacement and add in the fireworks that you saw in the intro video this is like the advanced part of the tutorial so follow along if you want to the first thing i'm going to do is get rid of the keyframes on the amount i'm just going to reset it right there we just want this clip to be as if it was nighttime the whole way through. Okay, so next step is to get rid of the sky. And to do that, you want to go to the effects tab and find the keying effect. We'll just drag the keyer effect onto there. In the inspector window, what you want to do is actually bring the keyer effect above the day to night effect. Because having it underneath the day to night effect, for some reason, changes like the strength of the effect because it thinks that the colors are different. So yeah, just watch out for that. And then what we're going to do is click on sample color and just select as much as the sky as we can right here. And then go down to spill level. You want to turn this all the way down because otherwise it changes the original colors of the shot. So you don't want that. And then go to matte tools. And we're just going to bring down the shrink and expand, which is going to get rid of the kind of like white outline. So we'll put that to like minus one. I'm going to turn up the erode a little bit to soften it out, get rid of more of that white outline. Okay, so next step is to bring in the fireworks and you want to put your fireworks underneath your video clip right there. What we need to do is add a bit of blur because the background of the shot is blurry. So let's just go to effects and go to blur. I'm going to go to the Gaussian blur, drag that onto the fireworks. Let's set that at around nine i'd say it still looks a bit out of place so what we can do to make this look a bit better is add a blending layer and to do that you just want to copy the original clip so command c and command v and just make sure it's lined up at the beginning and end otherwise it's just gonna it's gonna mess up the timing okay so on this bottom layer what we're going to do is select it and actually delete the keyer effect and go into the effects tab and we want to add a shape mask so let's go to masks and shape masks let's just drag that on right there square it off and what you want to do is grab the gradient the feather of the mask and just have the feather of the mask pretty much go all the way up the screen like that and you can position this wherever you think looks best Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good now. But after adding that blending layer, the fireworks have sort of disappeared. So what we can do is copy and paste the fireworks, copy and paste them right onto the top, bring that underneath the first layer. And then we're going to go to effects, go to Kia and add the Luma key effect. And we just want to make it so that the, um, the highlights are showing. So if I just disable this on and off, you can see how it makes the fireworks like pop. Okay, so the last step is to copy and paste the original shot again. And you wanna put this layer right at the top and just delete all of the effects uh, that it has, the day into night effect. And what we're gonna do is just add an opacity keyframe, one at the beginning at 100%. And then let's move forward a few seconds and turn the opacity all the way down to zero. So that's now going to give us the day to night effect. Cool. So now all of that's done. What we can do is select all of our layers, 
right click and add that into a compound clip. And I'm just going to do a bit of color grading on this. Um, I'm going to add an adjustment layer over the top, add the custom LUT effect, and I'm going to use a LUT from my new LUT pack, which you can get down below. And let's go for the chrome, and then let's add the letterbox effect. Set that to 235. And yeah, there we go. That is the finished effect. I will leave all of the links down below, the links to the video clips and the fireworks. If you manage to put this together and want to show me, then just tag me on Instagram and I'll check it out. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.